Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here from QBKing77.com doing a video showing you how to update your Sprint Samsung Galaxy S3 from MB1 to MD4. Go ahead and scroll down to your device, go to About Device, and you will see build number is MB1. That would be the latest uh, as of previously, and now there's a new update for Android 4.1.2 still, but it includes the multi-window update, and it's official. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to manually update it to MD4 uh, and include that multi-window update, that premium suite update. This is the official update. This is exactly what's going to happen on your device over the air. If you don't want to wait for it, you can just follow these instructions. It's quite easy, actually. You just need to download a quick file. You're also going to need an external micro SD card inside your device. You need to have one, otherwise you can't do it. So if you don't have a micro SD card, you're out of luck. But anyways, click on the link in the description of the video. Clicking on the link is going to take you to my website. You'll see I have it right here. Scroll down. You'll see for MD4 update. Keep scrolling down, and here's the official MD4 update zip. You can click and download it right there. Uh, download it, transfer it over to your uh, micro SD card, your external storage. So make sure you transfer it over to there. Uh, once it is on your external SD card, you can go ahead and go back to your device. And once back to our phone, we need to get into stock recovery to manually update. So you can actually just power off the device, completely let it shut down. All right, once our device is fully powered off, I want to make a quick note that if you're stock rooted or stock, this should work. If you're stock rooted and have a custom recovery such as Clockwork Mod, you need to get stock recovery back. I'll link to a video in the description. If you, if you aren't stock rooted or stock, then you will need to actually follow a different video. I will link to that in the description of the video as well. So check the description for uh, information there. But anyways, again, once you have stock recovery, you're ready to go. Press and hold volume up the home button and power button all at the same time. Keep it held down until the Samsung screen lights up and then go ahead and let go. So uh, once, once you let go, it should take us into our stock recovery and then we can just manually install this MB1 to MD4 update. So here is stock recovery. Go ahead and zoom in. To navigate, use volume up and down and the power button to select. Go ahead and press volume down twice until it says apply update from external storage. Press the power button to select it. And then go ahead and go down to that MD1, MB1 to MD4 zip and go ahead and select that zip file. And that should be just about it. What it's going to do is go ahead and open up that install package and actually install the update. Again, if you're stock rooted, you need to get stock recovery back. You'll probably lose root access, but you can just watch my how to root video at qbking77.com to get root access back. All right, so just let it run through, run through the update. You'll see a progress bar right there. It'll take a little bit of time, so just be patient with it. It might automatically reboot your device once it's done. It might not, we will see, uh, but just go ahead and let it run through. If for any reason you have any errors, you might want to try re-downloading the file. Uh, that could work, so uh, just try that as a troubleshooting step, but you'll see. Let it run through. I'll be back once it is nearing completion. All right, so just finished. Looks like it is automatically rebooting the device, so there we go. So it should reboot. Uh, the first boot up might take a little bit longer than usual just because it did do an update. No data will be wiped, so you don't have to worry about that. But again, it'll take a little bit longer than usual to boot up. Let it do its thing, and then I'll be back once it is booted up. All right, we are all done. You'll see Android update successful. I'm just going to hit OK, and there we go. So you'll see no data is wiped. All my home screen stayed, stayed the same. I did just do a factory reset previously, but don't worry. None of your data is going to be wiped. Go ahead and go into settings, scroll all the way down, go to about device, and you will see MD4, this is the last three digits under baseband, and under build number, MD4. So we are now still on 4.1.2, but we now have the premium suite update. Um, what you can do is press and hold the back button and you now have multi-window so you can go ahead and check that out You can open up your browser in one of them and then go ahead and open up your messaging in another one below So you'll see there you go I actually have a full review of a leaked build of the premium suite going over some of the changes and stuff So check that out. I'm not I don't have time to do a full review of this particular build however the leaked build is very very similar to this one so uh, pretty much the exact same actually so my review video is very relevant I'll just change the, the title of that video so you guys know what I'm talking about I'll link to it in the descriptions if you want to see a full look at uh, the multi-window some changes you can make to it etc 
I will link to that in the description of the video. So there you go. That would just be how to manually update using an update zip on your device. If you have any questions, feel free to ask, leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe to me as well. I'd really appreciate it. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.